In today's video, we're going to be creating relational database entries in a brand new way using Notion automation. We're going to be using checkbox database properties and using them as a button to create entries in other databases that can relate back to the original database that we're working on. Create three databases that are client, project, and task. So we're going to be using Notion automations to create related database entries through a single view. A symbol box that you mark and click, but in this example, we're going to use them as a switch to create entries. Go ahead and create three databases and relate them to each other to get started. So we're going to create a relation, create a relation with task. So now we have relate to each other. We're going to also do is add checkbox properties. We're going to add checkbox properties in the main client database, which will then link and connect to the project and task databases. And then we'll also have that. So we're going to create a gallery view to emphasize these points. So now when we do create a new entry. We have these checkboxes up here, and like you'd imagine, the goal here is to create all of these entries through these checkbox properties. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is through a Notion automation that just came out very recently, and that's why I'm creating this video. So we're going to go here to create and view automations, new automation, and we're going to add the trigger for checkbox because that's going to function as our button and trigger. We have add a project. We're also going to add a task. What we can also do is modify this property and relate it back to this original page as well with task. So now what we've done is when project plus task is clicked, a new project and a new task will be created. So now we can see what happens here. task, new project, untitled, let's type this. And look how easy that was. We're going to repeat that process for project and task. It's edited, create a project, and relate it back to itself. New project. Now, we're going to do another one. You don't need to title this every time. If you have a lot of automations, it's probably helpful to name them. So we're going to go to the task. Just do the task. To just add that title if you want. Totally up to you. So now we have um, project task and project plus task automation. But here, real quick, if you we untoggle this, the problem with untoggling is it creates a new database entry. In it. And we do not want that to click, obviously, right? So if we were to actually click on it once and then click out of it, it would create two of the entries um, because we interacted with it twice. In this case, that is exactly why we have this reset button that we're going to configure now that we've configured the project automation, the task automation, and the project plus task automation, which are just these checkboxes which are now functioning as buttons. So we're going to do the same thing with this reset. But what that really is going to do is we're just going to reset every checkbox as unchecked. So basically, if I check one, two, three, it, it will create three or two projects and two tasks. And then if I click on reset, it will reset all those buttons. And now we can use this again if we want to create more projects or tasks. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because imagine how many more things you can do once once you understand how you can configure these checkboxes as unique buttons to create any database entry in any table through a singular click, which is just located in a single gallery entry in which we can do three clicks to create four entries and then reset it and 
Okay, so I'm going to make more. So, thanks for watching and hope you can use this checkbox automation in your builds and future templates. Thanks for watching.